Hey guys, welcome to the sixth episode of Take Sobo with our review of Samurai Champloo. I'm anime noob Nate, joined here as always with the anime legend Malesh. Hey guys. Right off the bat, I'll say this. Did you like Cowboy Bebop? If yes, then you will hands down enjoy Samurai Champloo. Both of them share Watanabe's eccentric style. Instead of space cowboys, this anime will focus on Edo period samurais, with anachronistic flair like hip hop and slang. Like Bebop, it's one of the best animes I've ever seen. What are your thoughts, Malesh? I have to agree with you, Nate. Samurai Shampoo is the other major work Watchnabi is known for, for perfect reason too, as this alternative Edo setting is perfect for these very wacky and bizarre characters, and puts them in very unique, fun, different, dangerous adventures. Samurai Shampoo in the spring season 2004 with 26 great episodes. Shampoo is a relatively simple story where the main character, Fu, is on a search for the samurai that smells of sunflowers. But unfortunately, in her current situation, she can't find him alone. But so it all changed when she met the wild and crazy Ronin Mugen, the comic collected Jean, who she ends up helping on the first episode. Seeing as this was her chance to finally get on an adventure to find Samurai Sunflowers, she ends up caressing the two in order to aid her in her journey to find the Samurai that smells of sunflowers. I love the story of Champloo. I'd say I enjoyed it more than Bebop, which is more flashy and full of action. Whereas Champloo slowed down its pace far more often, includes more arcs, backstories, etc. The entire show's overarching quest is to find the Sunflower Samurai, but each episode will usually include an isolated subplot, but some minor arcs span two or more episodes. The flow is extremely good in what I'd expect from Watanabe anime. Now we'll talk about the characters. The primary characters are Mugen, Jean, and Fu, and all three have an excellent contrasting dynamic with each other. Mugen is extremely rash and hot-headed, and with little discipline and empathy, but somehow has incredible combat and sword training. Jean, on the other hand, is equally as skilled, but the stark contrast comes from his life of strict discipline in the dojo. He is quiet and calculated, complete opposite to Mugen's rush tactics. Fu acts as a mediator between them and prevents the rivalry from boiling over, but Fu is a little overly self-confident and sometimes gives the group mixed up in extra conflict. I'd say the group also mirrors the main cast of Cowboy Bebop, as both of them are based on the unlikely team trope. One of the things Shampoo does differently than Bebop that I personally enjoyed was that since there's only three main characters, a lot of the episodes would focus way more on the side characters. Which was great for the show, as it really brought attention to what the Edo period people were like. For example, a lot of times you see the men in the show be losers, gamblers, and instead of really paying the gang up, they just put their wife as scapegoat, which was not good. Shampoo did an amazing job of making you really understand what it was like to be living in that time period. Not like a lot of anime in that setting, did not glorify what the people were like. Instead, providing a more realistic approach to the character that showcased the many downcomings of the Edo period. Only one of his previous work is Cowboy Bebop, which was animated by Sunrise Studios, Samurai Shampoo was handled by Studio Manglobe, which is an interesting choice as Manglobe had only animated one other show before they even started work on Shampoo. Manglobe did a surprisingly nice job at Shampoo as the animation art style both very solid. The action scenes in particular were noteworthy for being super smooth. My only real knack with the animation is that it was just kind of inconsistent with a couple of episodes where it looked kind of bad, but for the most part, the animation is consistent and looks very good. I also agree that for an earlier portfolio, Champ Lou is an amazing entry from Manglo. Most episodes were extremely well animated and consistent within the episodes, but I did notice a couple episodes that were noticeably less quality. You'll notice when an episode looks out of place, but I think it's forgivable since the rest of it is so good. And you know what else is good? The soundtrack. Samurai Champ Lou. Samurai Champ Lou is one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. And like I said at the beginning, it's anachronistic because it's primarily hip hop despite it being set in Edo period Japan. Some of the characters in the show even beatbox. I don't know why. The opening theme is just good hip hop and also fully English. In contrast, the ending theme is very mellow and emotional, and it really enhances the atmosphere for when you just finish the more serious episodes and arcs. One of the many reasons I love Watanabe as a director is that he understands that anime soundtracks are important. And with Shampoo, he delivers another great, very hip hop inspired soundtrack like Nate said before. However, there are more slower piano-based songs in the OST to mainly just focus on more of the sadder scenes, which I also really enjoyed. As for the opening itself, I thought it was pretty solid but nothing that memorable, unlike the one-hit wonder tank which is the best thing ever. However, I really did enjoy the mellow ending theme as it really did make you reflect on what happened in the more serious episodes 
of the show. As usual, I watched the dub and I thought it was extremely good. It shares a couple of voice actors with Cowboy Bebop, most notably Steve Bloom, who played Spike in Bebop and played Mugen in Champloo. Steve Bloom is one of my favorite voice actors of all time. The rest of the cast was also great as well, and I've heard elsewhere that the dub is very highly regarded. If you've seen it once with the subs, I suggest you rewatch it for the dub. Yeah, Champloo does have a great English cast. And while I did watch a majority of the episodes with the English dub, I did watch a couple with the Japanese dub just to see how it was like, and as usual the Japanese really did a great job with it. I actually really enjoyed Fu's voice, her Japanese voice, more so than her English voice. I just thought it fit better for her. But you can't beat Steve Bloom as goddamn Mugen. I still prefer the dub over the sub for the most part. Like I said before, if you like Cowboy Bebop, it's pretty much a 100% guarantee that you will like Samurai Champloo, since the core style of both shows are extremely similar and they're meant to share the same audience and demographic. I still think Cowboy Bebop is better for first time anime watchers, but I personally enjoy Champloo more. Cowboy Bebop is more accessible and easy to watch, and I think it has a bit less depth and shorter arcs. And even though I like sci-fi more than history settings, I enjoy the setting of Champloo a lot because of how uniquely it was presented. All in all, I'd say both animes are masterpieces. Champloo is another great show by The Legend of Watchinabe. I enjoyed your watching this show a lot, especially because the first time I had watched it, I had, I had yet not seen Bebop. So it was interesting comparing the two shows together for me. Overall, I still prefer Bebop over Champloo, but I do like how Champloo does focus more on the secondary characters compared to Bebop. Lastly, if you just want to see Samurai sh fog shit up, this is a show for you. You can watch Samurai Champloo for free, dubbed or subbed, on Hulu and Funimation's website. And of course, you can buy the Blu-ray or the DVD release. As always, if you've already watched Samurai Champloo, click the first link in the description for our post-review discussion, which includes some spoilers and our, you know, more miscellaneous thoughts. Thanks for watching our review of Samurai Champloo. Please give it a like or comment for feedback, and we'll see you guys next time with the review of the recently concluded anime, Erased.